Seeing no further speakers, the mover closes debate. Uh, thank you, Honourable Speaker. I rise to close debate on Bill M216, uh, Business Corporations Amendment Act, uh, uh, which is being debated at second reading. First off, I'd like to thank the comments from the previous speakers, in particular uh, the minister who spoke uh, extensively about the values in encapsulated within B corporations, and now those values actually resonate with the values of the present government and clearly the values that we have uh, in the third party as well. For, for those who, who, who may not know what B Corps are, some, there's, some might think that they're uh, not big companies, they're only small companies. There are small companies who are B Corps, but there's also multinationals like Unilever, Unilever, which, uh, which is a transnational, con uh, transnational consumer goods company dealing with foods, beverages, cleaning agents and personal care. Unilever is a beep corp and they're proud of their branding. In a European bank called Triodos Bank, they brand themselves as the world's most sustainable bank. They are a B corporation and they're a very successful one. Uh, many people in this, in this legislature will know about the Natura products, the Brazilian uh, company that builds beauty uh, products, uh, uh, household care, personal care, skin creams. Uh, they are another example of a Brazilian B Corporation. Um, in BC, one of our uh, more celebrated ones is Hootsuite. It's a local uh, startup that it, uh, BC grown that grew dramatically to become a, a player, a big player in the tech sector. Many have actually probably participated in Kickstarter ca campaigns. Well, indeed, Honourable Speaker, Kickstarter is a B Corporation, and they're proud of their branding, and they're protected because of the fact they are certified and, 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 and incorporated as B Corporations. They're protected to allow that their mandate extend beyond the, triple, uh, the traditional only for profit, but actually have broader um, societal um, goals as well. Ben & Jerry's, we all love Ben & Jerry's ice cream. Mm -hmm. Ben & Jerry's is a B Corporation, again, a company that's proud. And why this is particularly important, Honourable Speaker, and you, you heard this from the discussion from the, the, the Minister, um, is that we know that there's a new generation of young people, the so-called millennials, who, who, who are emerging into our society and have a, a different set of values than we may have had when we go, came out. We came out at a different time, my, my gray-haired generation, but the millennials of today, they're looking for, I'm pointing to my colleague here too, so he, he my, 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 my uh, the millennials, they're looking for more than just the job. They're looking for the quality of life associated with that job. And one of the reasons why in British Columbia, for example, we're struggling to meet with uh, healthcare practitioners, uh, doctors, for example, we're, we're, we're graduating a lot, but doctors, when they come out, this millennial generation, for them, it's not only about the, the profession, it's about the quality of life associated with that profession. B corporations are critical because they recognize in today's uh, new economy that, that triple bottom line reporting, providing a workforce place where you actually create an environment that is, 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 is conducive to attracting and retaining employees in a very progressive manner, that these are the type of uh, companies that uh, are, 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 being attracted, are attracting the millennial generation. So I, I'm absolutely delighted that uh, the, uh, in here in British Columbia we are moving this forward. Um, I'm actually uh, very pleased that this legislation uh, will shortly be voted on at second reading. And over the course of the summer, I'm hoping that we will hear more from companies that have actually, uh, we've been approached by a number, but more and more companies will actually approach us and ask for further information. So that as we move into the fall session, we can actually have a, a, a good public discussion about the benefits or any potential unforeseen consequences associated with B corporations. I will say, Honourable Speaker, since bringing in this legislation, a, a, a very, very big multinational BC-based company has approached us and asked more details about how they might move down this process. So I know that there are companies out there that are looking for this. We know that. We met with stakeholders in Vancouver, with business leaders there a couple of weeks ago. There, there's actually a very uh, integrated group of, of senior uh, professionals in Vancouver. Uh, many of these are engineering firms or, or, or consultant firms. Um, but there's bigger firms. There's, there's construction firms. There's a number of firms that are moving towards the B Corporation because they want to be good corporate citizens. And we recognize, and it's good to see the government does, shame we have no speakers from the uh, uh, official opposition, we recognize <coughs> that it's actually critical to actions we move forward in a 21st century economy is that it's critical that we actually ensure that we, that we, um, uh, that we uh, 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 work with business to provide solutions and move us forward to dealing with some of the grand challenges of our time. So with that, Honourable Speaker, I move second reading.
Thank you, member. The question is second reading of Bill M-2016, Business Corporations Amendment Act 2018. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion is carried. Member? Uh, thank you, Honourable Speaker. I move the bill be referred to the Committee of the Whole in the, uh, to be uh, to the next city of the House after today. All members have heard the question. All those in favour? Aye. Opposed? Motion is carried.